Shalom. This is Words of Wisdom. And today I'm going to be reading from the Book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus in the Apocrypha, chapter 17. And there's a little prologue here. It says, How God, whose name is Yahweh, created and furnished man. Avoid all sin, for the Most High seeth all things. Turn to him while thou livest. Okay. So we'll go ahead and get started. And uh, this is pretty much just um, pretty much just an exhortation from one of the books of wisdom, Proverbs Ecclesiasticus. I mean Proverbs Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiasticus, and the words and uh, wisdom of Solomon. Salaki, Salaki for the noise. It's a quick lunch break lesson. I'm at work early morning, but I'm gonna get right into it. This is a little exhortation to the saints. Who are the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians? By the flesh, of course. And then also, as well, as the Israelite foreigners who look like the other nations, but their seed line goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So we'll go right ahead and get started. This is uh, Sirach chapter 17, verse 1. The Lord, Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, created man of earth and turned him into it again. So we're all gonna we're all gonna go back into the earth. Adam was made of dust, and that's exactly to dust shall we return. Verse two. So I get a second. Verse two. He gave them few days in a short time, and power also over the things therein. So we we're here for a short time. Uh, I believe seventy years is pretty much the. The guaranteed time for the righteous um and nothing's really guaranteed you know the lord uh he, he'll he'll take us off as he pleases at his will so he'll take us out this earth so we have to always be make sure that we're in a, a repentant state of mind keep ourselves humble and just hope for mercy so it says he gave them a few days and a short time and power also over the things therein he endued with them strength by themselves and made them according to his image and put the fear of man upon all flesh and gave him dominion over beasts and fowls. So the animals of the world, the reason why they fear us, the reason why we have power over them is because the Lord, Yahweh, or the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, they gave us dominion and, and, the, and the fear, they put the spirit of fear of the animals on animals. Over, uh, uh, the animals are afraid of us because they put the spirit on the animals to be afraid of us. That's just how much in control they are. Uh, they receive the use of the five, they receive the use of the five operations of the Lord. And in the sixth place, he imparted them understanding. And in the seventh, speech and interpret, interpreter of the uh, codigations, cogitations thereof. And seven is a complete number. All right. So when you see that number in the Bible, that, that's the number of completion. Verse six, counsel and a tongue and eyes, ears and a heart gave he them to understand counsel meaning um counsel meaning the advice of, of of the wise ones around you your tongue to speak eyes to, eyes to see ears to hear and a heart meaning your mind to understand so he gave us all these things with all he filled them with the knowledge of understanding and he showed them good and evil so we have the we have the understanding of uh, good and evil you know and good means the keeping of the law, says commandments, and evil means to depart from them. Verse 8, he set his eye upon their hearts that he might show them the greatness of his works. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, says he set his eye upon their hearts that he might show them the greatness of his works. He gave them to glory in his marvelous acts forever, that they might declare his works with understanding. Page verse ten, and and the elect shall praise his holy name. Beside this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an heritage. So our, this, this is our heritage: is the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, and the law that gives us life. Right. Well, we actually we have we have grace and mercy through the blood, but. Um, you know, that is 
that uh the blood being shed uh, allow the spirit of grace to be on us to, as a covering for our sins right but we still follow the laws because following the laws gives us life he made an everlasting covenant with them and showed them his judgments this is talking about the elect their eyes saw the majesty of his glory and their ears heard his glorious voice and he said unto them beware of all unrighteousness he gave every man commandment concerning his neighbor and this is talk, speaking about the Deuter, uh, laws in Deuteronomy Leviticus how we're supposed to treat our, uh, the, the, the people of our nation uh, let's see uh, Salakia lost my place okay verse 15 their ways are ever before him and shall not be hid from his eyes so the Lord sees everything that we do Verse 16, every man from his youth is given to evil. Neither could they make to themselves fleshy hearts for stony. So that's just that's just the way that, that we were created. You know, uh, well, originally we were created to be righteous, but we had the knowledge of good and evil. And unfortunately, men love darkness because their deeds are evil. You know, uh, so let's keep reading. Verse uh, 17, for in the division of the nations of the whole earth, he set a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion. So the division of the nations, they have they have kings, you know, kings and princes, and but we are the Lord's portion. So He is our King and our Prince, whom, being His firstborn, He nourished with discipline and giving Him the light of His love, doth not forsake Him. Therefore, all their works are as the sun before Him, and His eyes are continually upon their ways. None of their unrighteous deeds are hid from him, but all their sins are before the Lord. And that's exactly why um, all the things have came upon us. The great evil has came upon us. Verse 21, but the Lord being gracious and knowing his workmanship, neither left nor forsook them, but spared them. The alms of a man is as a signet with him, and he will keep the good deeds of a man as the apple of the eye and give repentance to his sons and daughters. So that's the that's the that's uh, you know, the covenant. And the Lord will never leave nor forsake us. In Malachi three and six, it says, "For I am the Lord; I change not. Therefore, you sons of Jacob are not consumed." So He's always, you know, He always will have mercy on the sons of uh, of sons of Jacob. Afterward, He will rise up and reward them and render their recompense upon their heads. This is for the ones who decide to turn from their wickedness uh, and to to do good. Okay, to turn to righteousness. But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that fail in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake, forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. All right, so return unto the Lord, forsake thy sins. So whatever you're doing that's wicked, turn away from that. Return unto your creator. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. Turn again to the Most High and turn away from iniquity. For he will lead thee out of darkness into the light, the light of health, and hate thy abomination vehemently. Who shall praise the Most High in the grave instead of them which live and give thanks? Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead as from one that is not the living and sound in heart. Salaki, it's a lot of noise in the background. Read that again. Verse 28. Thanksgiving perisheth from the dead as from one that is not. The living and the sound in heart shall praise the Lord. And how do you live? Through this word. It told, it told you that earlier. By keeping the, the laws. How great is the loving kindness of the Lord, our power, and his compassion unto such as turn unto him in, the, in, the, in holiness. For all things cannot be in men, because son of man is not immortal. What is brighter than the sun, if the light thereof faileth, and flesh and blood will imagine evil? He vieweth the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. Okay, so in other words, pretty much that's saying, he vieweth the power of the height of heaven, and all men are but earth and ashes. So, you know, the Lord, he loves us, but we're nothing compared to the Lord and nothing without the Lord. So let's keep that in mind. Once again, man, this is a quick exhortation, words of wisdom coming straight out of the Bible. Uh, and I read this from Sirach chapter 17, also known as Ecclesiasticus. We got to stay, stay uh, focused on the word. Keep studying. 
and uh, you know, give our mind, give our mind to exhortation and to doctrine until the Lord returns. So, with that being said, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakhakwadash. Uh, Lord willing, this message was edifying to the elect out there. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Remember, keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of what the people here forbear. Shalom.